This title might seem a little awkward, don't charge your phone to 100%, but there are some reasons for that. Before I tell you why, you need to know how a smartphone battery works. In a smartphone battery, there is a positive and a negative electrode. There are also positive ions and negative ions also called electrons. During the discharging phase, the positive ions move from negative electrode to the positive electrode through the electrolyte, which is a chemical solution inside the battery which acts as a carrier for the positive ions and a barrier for the electrons. So this is the reason why electrons always flow through an external circuit. So whenever a device is connected to that external circuit, the battery powers that device. When all the ions reach the positive end, there is no flow of current and the battery is said to be dead. So we charge the battery. During the charging phase, the exact opposite of discharging happens. That is, all the ions move from the positive end to the negative end. And when all the ions reach the negative end, the battery is said to be fully charged, that is 100%. At this point, you might be thinking, oh, this is just the normal operation of batteries. What is the problem here? Well, there are two major problems with 0% and 100%. The first problem is that these two states are the most extreme states for your battery. For example, if your battery is at 100%, then all the electrons and positive ions accumulate at the negative end of the battery, resulting in a higher voltage at one end, which further results in high amount of stress for your battery. Add to that, due to the full charge, your battery will be constantly warm. Similarly, for 0%, all the ions accumulate in the positive end, causing a similar amount of stress. In simple terms, 0% is like an empty stomach starving for food, while 100% is like a huge belly that's about to overflow. Both of these states make us feel uncomfortable, right? Considering this, the optimal levels of charge that you can maintain your battery at can be between 20 to 80%. These levels make sure that your battery feels stress-free. And if you want to feel stress-free by watching such fun tech videos, then hit that subscribe button. Oops. By the way, this is also the reason why the battery levels of new smartphones come at around 50% out of the box, just to make sure that the battery doesn't degrade while sitting at the stores for a long time. Alright, the second problem is due to a phenomenon called charge cycle. Let's say you charge your phone up to 100% and then drained it all the way down to zero. When you discharge 100% of your phone's total battery capacity, it is counted as one full charge cycle. And this charge cycle need not always be a full 100 to zero drain, it can be in parts. For example, you use 75% of the battery one day, then charge it up to 100 and then use another 25 the other day. This 75 plus 25 sum contribute to one full charge cycle. So with each charge cycle, batteries do degrade. That is, they lose some amount of their original health. Batteries can retain like up to 80% of their original health after 500 charge cycles. Please note that these numbers might change depending upon the quality of your battery. Instead of charging your phone from 0 to 100 for a long time in a single go, you can charge your phone multiple times a day, like 5 minutes here and 5 minutes there, 5% 5 here and 17% there. There is nothing wrong with this, this is an advice. And make sure that the battery level doesn't go beyond the 20 to 80 optimal mark. This somewhat helps to increase the time taken to complete one full charge cycle from a single day to like one and a half or a couple of days and also helps to prevent the heat produced by prolonged charging. This video doesn't mean that you should never charge your phone to 100 or drain it to zero because I charge my phone to 100 every single time I have to go outdoors without a charger and sometimes return back to home with a dead battery. But just try to maintain it within the 20 to 80 mark as and when possible. So charge wisely. Thanks a ton for watching. See you next time.